Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to use Cloud Stop Motion, a website that lets you use stop motion with your Chromebook camera. So the first thing you want to do before you even get started, because none of this will save unless you press sign in, register, and create an account for yourself um, using, you can just use a school e email, any email and then a password that you select. Make sure to write your password down or save it to your browser so that you don't forget. Um, so this website is nice because it automatically saves your recordings. I'm gonna go ahead and press new project and show you guys around. So let's see, let me switch my camera. So what I did for this practice setup is I angled my front camera down. So it's sort of at an angle, but it still works out. So at the side here is gonna be your camera button. That's where you sort of expose the camera where you can take different pictures. You can add audio or text afterward. Um, there's settings up here. Um, we're going to want to keep it to HD widescreen. You're going to want to keep onion skinning on here. This is where it sort of creates the ghost image of your video. And whenever you're ready, you can start taking images. So let me go back here. Um, this is where you would capture your frame. And this is where you can play back or you can skip forward and sort of look through your video. So. Let me, so what I can do is hide my hand um, on my keyboard. If your thumb gets exposed a little bit when you're taking the pictures, that's okay. But I'm going to have my object where I want to start. Let go, capture a frame, and then you can see back here how there's sort of like a ghost image. So I'm going to capture another frame, push it forward just to move it. And once you practice this more and more, I should have been more careful about hiding my hand. That's going to show up in the video, but I'm just practicing right now. Um, once you practice more and more, you'll be able to do it pretty quickly. Sort of get through the rhythm, get used to it. Again, you can really see the ghost image show up underneath right here. Okay, and let's play this. Let's see what it looks like. So, yeah, it, it ends up turning out um, pretty cool. That was just a, you know, I got one to two seconds out of that just from taking, I don't know, 10 or so images. So um, that's a good start. Go ahead and play around, practice with this, and see how you like it.